Hello. Uh, we're going to learn how to do multiplication with an area model with Mrs. Duell's fourth graders. And to be honest, as a mathematician, this has become my favorite way of doing multiplication mentally. So the directions I had for the students were to solve 23 times 12 with an area model. And really what they're doing is they're creating partial products. So they're really just multiplying the decomposed parts of numbers and then adding them up to find the products. So they're doing this in pieces, like how a bike is built in pieces and then you put it all together. Well, that's how multiplication with an area model works. So let's check out their work. So um, as a part of having fun with the summer challenge, uh, we had them do their area model with sidewalk chalk. And so they made four quadrants to represent the four decomposed place values. So 23 gets split into 20 and 3, and 12 gets split into 10 and 2. So we're working by 10s and 1s. Each one of the boxes gets multiplied together, a lot like a multiplication, multiplication table you're used to. So 10 times 20 was 200, 10 times 2 was 40, um, I'm sorry, 20 times 2 was 40, 10 times 3 was 30, and 3 times 2 was 6. And then we could take all those products and add them up to get the total product. So we add our four partial products to get our total product of 276, which is the same way you'd get it using the algorithm. Okay? We can have the two girls explain to you how they did it. Watch. So our math problem today was 23 times 12, and you did an area model. Can you explain your area model? Okay, so that's my top square. It's yeah. 10 times 20 is 200, and what's this square? I did 10 times 3, and it's 30. So where does the 20 and the 3 on top come from? Um, 20, the 20 and 3 times. So you broke it down into 10s and 1s? Very good. Um, Cece, can you explain to me the bottom two boxes? So how do we get this, the bottom one? Um, we hit 20 times 2. 20 times 2, and that equals? Very good. And how about over here? We equaled six. So now I have four different math answers. What do I got to do with those? Likewise, Miss um, Turner's fifth graders are going to show us how to do multiplication of decimals with an area model. And the directions for them were to solve 3.7 uh, times 2.4 with an area model. Now, I actually said that wrong. We want to call it 3 and 7 tenths and 2 and 4 tenths and decompose it very similarly. Instead of using tens and ones, we're going to use ones and tenths. So if you look at this area model, this student split, uh, split it into four quadrants again, but now we're doing ones and tenths. So uh, 3 ones times 2 ones makes 6 ones. 3 ones times 4 tenths makes 1 and 2 tenths. 2 times 7 tenths makes 1 and 4 tenths. And then my bottom right corner, 4 tenths and 7 tenths. When I multiply tenths and tenths, it makes hundredths. The way when I multiply tens and tens, it makes hundreds. And again, I have four products that I can now add together. Be careful of where your decimal place is. Really, this student kind of does it a similar way without the area model. They decompose the numbers. Um, and it's really kind of basically the algorithm. So on the right here, they're multiplying tenths. So they took the seven tenths and multiplied that piece. And on the left, they're multiplying the whole number, the three ones. And then they add together those partial products again. And likewise here, this is really what you're doing when you do the algorithm. Notice that when I take these partial products and add them up, they add to these pieces in the algorithm. So whether I'm doing the algorithm or whether I'm doing the area model, I'm really doing the same thing. And I'll let some of Miss Turner's fifth graders explain to you how they did their work. Okay. So our problem today is multiplying two decimals, 2.4 times 3.7, and you were asked to use an area model. So could you please explain to me how you did the number bond way? Okay, so you did 2.4 times 3, and 2.4 times uh, 7 tenths, correct? Yeah. 
Okay, and how'd that go? What'd you do? To hold the place, good. And then you multiplied, right? Yeah. Three times four is twelve. And three times two is six. And, and add the one. And you had to add the one, okay? And how did uh, what'd you end up doing on the bottom there? Can you explain the bottom part? Uh, I brought them back together and added them together. Oh, because you broke them down into two parts, you add them back together. Yeah. Can you explain maybe your area model? Um. Where does so what what's on top there first? Yeah. Uh, one of my whole numbers. So one of your numbers from the problem, right? So you took 2.4 and split it up the same way you did here, correct? Yeah. Great. So she did the same thing. She still decomposed. Go ahead. So what? Uh, how'd you get the six? So two times three is six. And that's a whole number because it's two whole numbers. Good. And then four times three is twelve. But wait a minute. It's not four though, right? It's four tenths. Yeah. So is that twelve or is it? Twelve. Does anyone want to help her? 1.2? Great. Because I'm multiplying a whole number times tenths, I'd have four tenths plus four tenths plus four tenths. Very nice. Okay. Uh, where'd the 14 come from? Uh, two times seven is 14. Okay, but is it two times seven or is it two times seven tenths? Two times seven tenths. So we should get 1.4. Good. Very nice. And then what's my last box? What's the 28? Uh, four tenths times seven. Okay. Two and eight tenths. But since they're both tenths, Tenths times tenths should make hundredths. Very nice. What do you want to do with all four of those numbers in the boxes? Add them all together. Add them all together. Do you want to try and show that? Great. How should she line up the addition? What's important? Why is she doing that? Why is she pushing them over like that? Go ahead, say it all out. Yeah, we don't want to, we want to mix our add our whole numbers with whole numbers, tenths with tenths, and hundreds times hundreds. Very nice. Thank you.